So um, a famous German neuroanatomist named Corbinian Brodmann, you know, over a hundred years ago, examined the human cortex under the microscope, and he examined aspects of fine neuroanatomy, and he identified 52 distinct, discrete regions with specific boundaries, you know, where within a region, one of these 52 regions, the cytoarchitecture, as he described it, the architecture of the cells that he saw, you know, was relatively consistent, and then it would shift at a border, you know, uh, to a different cytoarchitectural um, kind of kind of view. So, so there were based upon differences in cytoarchitecture, the architecture of the cells that he saw uh, in different regions of human cortex. He divided up human cortex into 52 distinct regions. These are called Brodmann areas, and they were given numbers. Um, and, you know, since, you know, Brodmann did this neuroanatomical examination, microscopic examination of the cytoarchitecture of different regions of human cortex, there have been, you know, uh, functional associations that have been made. You know, um, specific regions carry out specific functions based upon their specific structural organization. So um, it's interesting, um, like for example, Brodmann area 17 is primary visual cortex. It's located back here in the occipital lobe in the, you know, down the longitudinal fissure here in a, there's a sulcus called the calcerin sulcus or calcerin fissure it's sometimes referred to. Um, and it's um, got a very, very thick layer four, which is of course the input layer in neocortex. And that's because we are such visually oriented primates, right? So we get a lot of, you know, optic radiations working their way back from the lateral geniculate nucleus in the thalamus and synapsing, you know, on neurons in layer four. So layer four for Brodmann area 17 or, you know, uh, uh, primary visual cortex. Also, it's called striate cortex because it's striped because that layer four is so thick. Um, that's a very distinctive cytoarchitectural difference, um, you know, from area 17 or, you know, the areas that surround primary visual cortex where, you know, layer four drops off significantly. Um, and it has a functional, uh, you know, uh, aspect to it too. It reflects, you know, the extraordinary amount of visual input you know, that's um, coming from the lateral geniculate nucleus in the thalamus. So um, since Brodmann, um, there have been a lot of techniques that have been developed to further parse or subdivide these 52 original Brodmann areas into smaller units. Um, so it turns out that a lot of researchers up at the Allen Institute uh, for Brain Science in Seattle, for example, have, you know, applied newer functional techniques, you know, um, sort of neuroanatomical techniques, you know, genetic techniques, et cetera, to further parse or subdivide these 52 regions uh, into smaller regions that also likely have, you know, specific functional um, associations. So it's like uh, Brodmann identified the state boundaries and now utilizing additional neuroanatomical and other techniques, um, you know, researchers at the Allen Institute and elsewhere are sort of, you know, finding the county maps and the city maps, you know, the town maps, et cetera, as well. Mm -hmm.